Joy, I want to be clear, Skip. I want to be crystal clear. I want to be abundantly clear. I'm not here to offer defense for Joe Mixon because what he did is indefensible. I'm not here to apologize for Joe Mixon because Joe Mixon, as the offending party, should offer the apology. It's being reported that he did. Whether or not the victim accepted it, that's for her to deal. I just hope that she's able to, at some point in her life, be able to move on from this traumatic experience. My problem is with the hypocritical Bob Stoops. See, Bob Stoops, all of a sudden, after two and a half years, he has morals now. Bob Stoops, the athletic director, and I'm also going to assume the president of the University of Oklahoma, saw that very video that was released last Friday in its entirety a, a week, two weeks, maybe a month after it happened. So that meant it was very, very fresh. They determined that Joe Mixon couldn't play for the University of Oklahoma that season. They suspended him for one year. The judicial process ran its course. The state of Oklahoma said for a first-time offender, a guy that has no prior history, this is what the punishment we deem is appropriate for you. Now, if you have a problem with the state of Oklahoma and the way they handle it, you take that up with them. But my problem is with Bob Stoops because upon seeing this video two and a half years ago, he felt that a year suspension was enough. And he felt that giving a young man a second chance, an opportunity to rehabilitate himself was enough. But I'm sure some of the stipulations, guys, were you need to maintain a great academic standing at the University of Oklahoma. This or any other incidents that will cause a stain on the University of Oklahoma, this football program, and you, Mr. Mixon, will not be tolerated and you, it will be immediate dismissal. I'm assuming those were some of the stipulations for him staying on this football team. Now, what Joe Mixon learned is that Bob Stoops only supported him in private because once this tape got out, and Bob Stoops knew, in today's climate with social media the way it is, there's nothing in private. He knew this tape would eventually get out, so Joe Mixon is finding out today that Bob Stoops only supported him in private, that when the blowback started to come from the media, because they're saying, well, hold on, Bob, how could you see this tape and only suspend the guy for a year? Now Bob Stoops says, you know, knowing what I know now, he's got morals. He's, clearly, he's gone to church every day since then because now he's the moral compass and he's all this moral authority. Mind you, he did take on Doria Green Beckham from the University of Missouri who had drug offenses. Not the same thing, but I'm just saying he was willing to give someone a no, second chance. He had another allegation of okay. domestic violence. Dede Westbrook. Yes. But I'm, gonna let, I'm sure you're going to touch on that. I, so I I'm, I'm going to let you have that one, Skip. Yep. So he saw this two years ago. Joe Mixon was never going to be able to outrun this. This was always going to be on his resume. But if he did enough good deeds moving forward, if he became a model citizen moving forward, it would be lowered down on his resume because I think there are a lot of people that have done things in the past, maybe not to this extent, maybe, maybe not this egregious, but they've done things, Skip, that we look at them and that's not the first thing that we say. Mm -hmm. So Bob Stoops saying, he also said, and we didn't get this part, he, he suspended him. He hadn't played a down for Oklahoma, mm -hmm. but he didn't know how good Joe Mixon could be, Skip. Joe Mixon was a five-star recruit. Rivals had him as the number one running back coming out that year. No, just so you get this, he was one of the most ballyhooed recruits in Oklahoma football history, yes. which is a decorated long history. He didn't know. Skip, do you know what college would go through and head coaches go through to get these five-star recruits? Think about this. Jim Harbaugh wanted a five-star recruit so bad he went and hung out in the dude's treehouse. They have dinner. Harbaugh was standing on the sidelines with the yard markers. You promise some things. What number do you want? By the way, Alabama and Florida State, they all wanted Joe Mixon. And that's, yeah. 
Yeah. So in order for you to get him mm -hmm. from all these schools, yep. you know the talent he possessed. Mm -hmm. Because what colleges you know recruit players that they don't think can help them win a ball game? Bob Stoops know what he had in Joe Mixon. Sure. He knew. But now, after two Big 12 titles, after getting into the college playoff last year, the punishment that I gave him was not enough. Skip, I don't have... Look, the problem that I have, not just with Mr. Stoops, but with our society, I want to know this. Who gets a second chance? For what offenses are we to be given a second chance? And who determines if we are to get those second chances? So if Joe Mixon, had, if he had dismissed Joe Mixon and he went to another university, are we going to hold that university? Because you know it's the same thing with the Patriots. They know what Michael Floyd did. Mm -hmm. They were with 31 other, 30 other teams passed. Yep. The Patriots said, we're willing to take that. We saw Greg Hardy. Jerry Jones says, look, we know what this young man did. We believe we have the people in place mm -hmm. to give this man the proper help yep. to get him. And we believe in second chances. We believe that we can help this young man rehabilitate himself mm -hmm. and go on further. You're not condoning his action if you say you believe in second chances. That's all Bob Stoops had to do. But now he's thrown, he's made it virtually impossible. I would be surprised if he played in the bowl game. I know he can't come back. Bob Stoops just, not only did he throw the man under the bus, Bob Stoops is driving the bus, Skip. And it's shameful. It's so hypocritical that now he finds morals only after the media gave him blowback. Should he have dismissed Joe Mixon at that moment two and a half years ago? Is that what you're saying? Or he just shouldn't have said what he said yesterday? Skip, if he had dismissed, if he had dismissed him, I got no problem with it. If he says, Joe, what you did, I, I can't. I can't keep you on this program. This is just so egregious that you would act like this mm -hmm. as, a represent, as a representative of the University of Oklahoma. I wish you well. Skip, we saw this. We saw Lou Holtz do it with Randy Moss. He said, Rand he said Randy, I can't keep you here. But let me tell you what that, I'm going to do. That was because the administration said you can't. Lou was but, fighting it. In fact, that was one okay. of the final yeah, straws to why Lou had to leave. But he recommended him to Bobby Bowden. Mm -hmm. Okay, I can't keep you here, but I'll recommend you to a junior college okay. or a place of your choosing. Say that. Mm -hmm. But to come back and say you should have done more, why? That tape, Skip, it did not show a new act. Mm -hmm. It highlighted what Bob Stoops already knew and what the people that, that had never seen that, mm -hmm. Skip, I'm going to turn it over to you. I'm going to say this. This is how I look at it. When I read the paper and it says a person was decapitated in a car accident, I don't need to see the picture of the headless corpse. When the, when the things, when it said, you read the report, she suffered a, a broken jaw and a broken nose. I didn't need to see the video to know the man had to strike a what severe force. Mm -hmm. You know that. So it didn't change anything. So now, he, it, he, it's more egregious two years later. Now it's even more when it was so fresh. And it wasn't enough to dismiss him. But now he should have. Bob Stu's full of bull jive.